coming back to the IC IC standard IDMT relay characteristic already I have discussed about this topic however I thought it would be helpful if I get if I, if I come back uh, with one real time project information with manual calculation it will be helpful ok so here this is for the normal inverse or standard inverse as per IC IC curve IC 60255 this T equals to TMS multiplied by 0 0.14 by IR to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 here is a project example in one of our project we have done this let's check this row row number 13 row number 13 or this row number 15 maybe so this is for the 415 volt lv incomer protection this ct rating is 1600 bar 5 and obviously this is over current and curve curve type it is selected as IC inverse IC normal inverse plug setting is considered 105 and this is TMS TMS setting 0 0.35 this you can get during the code that coordination protection coordination based on that we have got this value 0 0.35 for this incomer ok now the fault current what is the fault current this is 16.668 ka actually this current is coming from here from here because we have one one mv transformer and uh, this voltage ratio 6.6 15 volt step down transformer and impedance is a 8 percent so the fault current lv side fault current is coming this 1 mpa divided by impedance which is 8 percent that means 0 0.08 root 3 into voltage low voltage side 0.433 kv so it is coming 16.668 ampere fault current okay now this is coming the PSM this PSM we need to set this is this fault current divided by this CT rating into this plug setting in case of uh, this project is here 105 plug setting it, it may be 110 or 125 also in some cases so accordingly this PSM needs to be calculated and using this PSM this of using this PSM this operating time will be calculated using that IEC formula which is which one that IEC formula this one because this is normal inverse T equals to TMS multiplied by 0 0.14 divided by IR to the power 0 0.02 minus 1. The same formula here is applied. So PSM multiplied by 0 0.14 divided by this PSM to the power 0 0.02 minus 1. So this operating time is coming 1.04 so this is as per IEC this is as per IEC equation if we select this curve as very inverse or extremely inverse in that way this operating time will get changed because of this formula if we select this very inverse characteristic 
very inverse curve then t equals to tms multiplied by 13.5 divided by ir minus 1 and if we select extremely inverse characteristic then t equals to tms multiplied by 80 by ir square minus 1 so based on this the curves will look like this will look like this the shape the shape will come like this during the protection coordination suppose there is a motor i will cover in upcoming videos suppose there is a motor here so for that particular motor generally the starting current will be six times or seven times or eight times so here this motor characteristic curve will go like this suppose this is the motor characteristic curve in that case in that case you cannot select this extremely inverse curve because it will it will overlap it will overlap this so extremely inverse curve you cannot select for that motor feeder in that case maybe you need to select this very inverse or standard inverse or this normal inverse curve so extremely inverse curve is required typically for transformer for transformer incoming feeders suppose let's see here here is the transformer for this transformer upstream protection device coordination here in the high voltage side of this transformer maybe we need to consider extremely inverse curve and in the secondary side low voltage side extremely inverse curve may not be required only normal in uh, normal inverse or very inverse curve will be sufficient so that will be determined that will be determined based on the protection coordination requirement which curves need to be selected which curve type needs to be selected typically for transformer hb side extremely inverse you need to select and low voltage side extremely inverse curve may not be required only normal inverse or very inverse maximum will be sufficient so in the upcoming videos during protection coordination setting with respect to the downstream downstream outgoing feeder considering this bus tie and also this incomer we will select the suitable curve type in the upstream also so that will be the part of the protection coordination study so in this video up to this we will meet again